In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop foot faulting on your serve. Foot faults on the serve occur at every level of the game, from the recreational players all the way to professional players. And there's one specific type of foot fault that takes place at the recreational level, and I'm gonna to get to that later and also show you how to fix it. But first, let's talk about what kind of foot faults you see at the pro level. One type of foot fault that happens infrequently at the pro level is one where the back foot will step over the middle line and this affects players that number one have a very wide stance and also stand very close uh, to the line. So if I serve like this in a platform stance, this is considered a foot fault because my back foot uh, crossed the middle line. And one player that was affected by this type of foot fault was Marad Safin. So please remember, if you happen to have a platform stance, to give yourself enough space so that that back foot uh, doesn't cross the middle line on your serve. Another type of foot fault that's very common at both the recreational level and the pro level is when players are standing on the line prior to the service motion. At the recreational level, you'll see more extreme cases of this when players are standing inside the baseline prior to the serve. And this is a mistake that can very easily be avoided. Just simply check and make sure that the foot is not close to the line prior to your serve. Give yourself a little bit of space so that there's absolutely no chance that the foot is touching the baseline. Now some players will remedy this by standing uh, way behind the baseline. This is very unnecessary. Just give yourself about an inch uh, between the tip of your front foot and the baseline and that is sufficient uh, to prevent you from foot faulting in this manner. And finally, the most common type of foot fault at the recreational level is the moving of the front foot in the middle of the service motion. And you'll see this type of foot fault even at the pro level, not necessarily where players are stepping over the line prior to the contact, but more just a slight movement of the front foot inside the service action. And the solution to this problem where it makes it absolutely impossible for that front foot to move lies inside your serve rhythm. And this is how you're going to prevent this foot fault from happening. So basically, you're going to have to transfer the weight onto your front foot prior to your take back. So basically, you're going to bounce the ball and now you're going to shift the weight onto your back foot. And now as you toss the ball up, you need to shift the weight back onto your front foot. And now as you toss the ball, your racket's gonna start going up. And as the racket goes up, you're gonna start shifting all your weight to the front foot, get on the balls of your feet where the heel is off the ground. And now the back foot's gonna do the same thing. And you're gonna bend your knee slightly. And now as you accelerate, you're gonna go up towards the ball. The majority of times a player commits this type of foot fault is a stepping of the front foot when the racket goes up, uh, something like this. So the racket will go up, the player steps in and then makes contact. So if you apply pressure to the front foot as your toss goes up, and now consequently the racket will start going up from a lag and as the racket goes up you start applying the pressure towards the tip of your front foot you get the heel up this makes it absolutely impossible to take a step when we take a step we do it from the heel to the toe now as we are applying pressure to the front part of the foot this front foot is set into the ground and it makes it absolutely impossible to foot fault from this position I hope this video can help you to stop foot faulting. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the section below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.